Hey, this is Ellis with The Verge checking out the new Gmail inbox rolling out today for iOS, Android, and web. It's designed to address a pretty hot topic today, which is email overload. The new inbox is designed around five intelligent tabs. There's primary, which is messages from friends and family, social, which is messages from social networks about new followers, new friends, and photo tags from Facebook and Twitter, promotions, which is deals, offers, and other promo emails from sites like Groupon, updates, which is receipts, bills, and credit card statements, and forums, which is messages from online groups, discussion boards, and mailing lists you're a part of. Google uses its trademark machine learning to place your emails in any of these five buckets, and uh, if you don't find yourself using one of them, you can add or remove at any given point, though you can't rearrange the way they look at the top of your screen. Inside the configure inbox screen, you can check or uncheck the different tabs that you want, and if you hover over any of the names of the tabs, it actually gives you some examples of some people or some companies or social networking sites that might fall under each category, which makes it easy to decide which ones you do or don't want. If Google miscategorizes any of your messages, you can always pick them up and drag them into another tab, at which point Google will say, do you want messages like this to go to your other category, and you say yes. The new Gmail for iOS and Android works very similarly, except instead of having your categories at the top of your screen, they're in a left sidebar just ahead of labels. If you're already a fanatical Gmail user and have tons of filters set up to rid yourself of social networking notifications and the like, you might not notice much of a difference with the new Gmail. But for most people, the new Gmail should highlight the most important emails from friends and family in your primary tab, which should be really useful. 